Now, what is beauty? Beauty is something that inspires, helps us to evolve into higher people. It helps us get through the day. It gets us out of bed. Some people stay in bed, but it helps us get in bed. Today, we're going to look for and find where beauty is. We're going to find where beauty is. I'd like for each of you to look across the table at someone's eyes. Now, you should be able to find a little black orb in the eye that's called a pupil. Everybody should have this orb except Jim Salapak. Now, that is the pupil of the eye. That's what allows light to enter the eye. If you give it too much light, it gets very small. Keith Sims should know this. When you're drunk, you get very beady eyed. <laughs> if you take light away, it gets wide open. That's the whole purpose, like the lens of a camera, to let light in. Now, you, in a poker game, the, the reason people wear shades is so they can't see your eyes if they have a good hand. Because when a person sees a good hand, they're going to get, whoa, and the eyes open. It's also a good tip for the males in the audience. You can find out if the females are interested. You look at those pupils. If they're opening, you're heading in the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> if you're sitting across the table from little beaver eyes, you better buy another drink or spend some more money. <laughs> Where is beauty? Now we can we can look at other cultures and find out what they think beauty is. Now the female form in general cultures is considered where beauty is. But there, some people like large women, some people like small women, wide women, blondes, brunettes, it's endless. So where is beauty? Is it in the person? Is it in the sunset? Is it the color? Or is it in the brain? Is it something in us that translates these energies into beauty? As I said before, the light enters the eye. And in the back of the eye, we have what they call photosensitive receptors. It takes light energy and makes it into nerve impulses. And then those nerve impulses are translated by our brains into a beautiful experience. Now, the most prevalent form of discrimination, can anybody imagine what that is? It's not religious, it's not racial, and definitely not sexual. It's visual. Each of us every day discriminate visually. We are repelled by certain colors, by certain events, by certain people. Every day we are attracted. Each of you just in your own lives are attracted to certain kinds of people. And we avoid the other kinds of people that we don't like. But where is the beauty? Some people buy sculptures. Some people buy paintings to surround themselves with beauty because we all have this ingrained in us. Now I myself, I'm a seeker of beauty. I have tried to find something that enhances my day, every day. I have found something. I have found something that inspires me. I'm going to share that with you this morning. <laughs> it's the Carol Mackin doll. <laughs> <laughs> this is the inspiration of my life. <laughs> flex. Yes, it flexes. Night, I put my ear closer to it, <laughs> and I hear, I have an announcement. <laughs> <laughs> this is where beauty is for me. <laughs> for the females in the audience, I have something that can inspire you. It's the Glenn Shaw dog. <laughs> and glistens through a dewdrop nestled on a leaf of a red, red rose. It stirs invisibly at the new warmth 
that gently goes down its thorny green stalk. It straightens to greet the day as its roots joyously embrace the black dirt. Near and far, the other roses, yellow and white, excitedly feel the urge to face the living sun. The message to awaken, the need to be open, the pulse of the moment, pours through the roses as the slender choruses of silent flowers begin to sing their responses with fragrances full of love. One rose, then another, then another, open their leaves and sing their songs of aromatic ecstasy. Please open your eyes. My dear Toastmasters, those flowers, I, you, and all of us, and everything that the world comprises, is where beauty is, is the beauty that is real, it's the beauty that we seek, it's the beauty that we are, and the beauty that we can be. Today you have looked for, and today you have found where beauty is. Mr. Toastmasters.